In the Basilica of the Annunciation of Nazareth, which rises in the place where the angel Gabriel announced to Mary that she would become the mother of the Saviour, the Custers of the Holy Land, Brother Francesco Patton, presided Mass for the Feast of the Holy Family. God created the male and female person and created the family so that the husband and wife to become such and build a new family unit must leave what is at their shoulders, their families, to build something that is actually a work of God. The homily was given by the Latin parish priest of Nazareth, who in his reflection said that our life must be far more than a photograph. Today, in fact, parents tend to fix in a shot every moment of life of their children. It is not enough. We must offer them an authentic example. He continued then speaking of love that overcomes all difficulties, of forgiveness and how Joseph and Mary bet everything on God. In family life, in fact, who has the Lord has everything. We are experiencing many difficulties in families and many challenges, especially in young couples. This is because there is no living God in their lives. So many times we transform God into a series of moral values, of dogmas, and we forget that it is His presence that makes us live. As Paul VI said, Nazareth is the school where we begin to understand the life of Jesus. It is the school of the Gospel. Nazareth still reminds us today that the family is a communion of love, is made of austere and simple beauty, and has a sacred and inviolable character. God the Father, in the Spirit, entrusted His Son, Jesus, Word incarnate, to a man and a woman to take care of Him. Jesus had a family that is man's happiness. Every man, every woman, with the exception of those who are called to consecrated life, which is a particular state of life, is called to look at the family as the genesis of happiness, of the project of love for every man and woman. At the end of the Mass, the Franciscans and the faithful went out in procession to the church of San Giuseppe, a few meters from the Basilica of the Annunciation, and prayed in the crypt built on the place where it is believed that Joseph, the putative father of Jesus, lived with Mary, returning from the flight into Egypt. The centuries have passed and today the Christians of Nazareth are about a third of the population of the town. The families who live here are proud of being compatriots of the Holy Family. Privileges is to be where the Holy Family was and where the Holy Family is living now. To feel the place, to feel the stones. Challenges. There are so many, or maybe a lot. Challenges for us as Christians um, is to be the peacemaker between all nations or religions. For us, being a Christian family in Nazareth, following the footsteps of the Holy Family, uh, puts us in a place of being a continuation of this family. We have the responsibility of being the continuation of the Holy Family of reflecting the life of the Holy Family in our daily lives, in our simply daily lives. Um, it's a grace, it's a blessing, a responsibility, which uh, helps us to put God in the center of our uh, family life.